This week on Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use top n on discrete fields rather than using last. I'll show you how to use last as well, um, but in the bottom case is where last doesn't work out very nicely for us. So what we've got here is we've got two sections. So what what I want to do is I want to be able to bring back the last 20 the last 20 um, order IDs and then of that last 20 give me back the average sales for all of those um, order IDs that we've got up here. So the first way we do that is by using last. So if I put order ID into view, my parameter here is just, if I edit this, it's just an integer with a minimum, maximum and a step size of one. I'm just going to show this parameter and then we're just going to add in the sum of sales here. So now I'm going to create the calculation which is going to be um, my last x. So um, the function last basically looks up um, whatever's in your view and gives each record a number. So at the bottom here, so this record here would be zero. And then it'd be one, two, three, based on the um, order that you have your order IDs in. So if we do last minus at uh, plus one, um, so then that gives us that first record is one rather than zero. And then you want that to be um, less than or equal to the last parameter that we've just set. So we do this last x. Now if I put that onto my order IDs, you'll be able to see that we've got 20 here that are true. So if I take that back down to five, you'll see that we've got five there that are true. Now, if I drag that on and put that onto uh, true, onto filters, you'll then just get the last five. Now, if I want to use this last filter to bring back the average of subcategory sales for just those five orders, um, what I really want to do is if I go to subcategory, and if I drag sales on, then change that to an average. If I then just drag that last filter back onto here and hit true, what it's going to do is it's going to pick back those last five subcategories because that's what Tableau knows what to do with it. It's using table down or subcategory. Now, if we add order ID to detail, this is what happens. We get every order ID broken down. And if I then compute using order ID, true, we then do only get our five um, coming back, but it's broken down the view and we kind of want that whole average across the top. So what we can do here is we can use the top n functionality. So if I go, if I drag order ID back in, and again, sales on here, and I'm just going to show this parameter. Now, what I'm going to do, is if I click order ID and go to filter. First off, we're going to click use all so we don't exclude anything that we don't really mean to. And then we go to top. Now, normally when you do this, you do top X by sum of sales or profit or whatever it is. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to use it on that order ID. So we're going to do the order ID, but we're going to pick the max order ID. So what that's going to do is it's going to go all the way down to the bottom and find that max order ID and give me back the last five. So if I hit OK, you can see now I have my five and just for comparisons, I'm going to go and build the dashboard of sheet five and sheet seven, just so you can see that they are the same order IDs. This works with dates as well for the top N filters. But the main reason we wanna do this is so that if we go and add subcategory, and if I option drag sales and then hit average. Now I want to be able to filter to the top five order IDs that we've got. So again, I'm going to have order ID onto filters, use all, top by field, go down to last, change this to order ID and change that to a maximum or minimum, depending on what you're trying to do. And if I hit okay here, You'll then be able to see I get 235, 
92, 12, etc. So now when I go back into my dashboard, if I add sheet six in here, but let me just go back and remove order ID and change the compute using. And if I add sheet eight in as well, now when I up this, what you're gonna see is um, if I just add the labels on here, you'll see that this average is changing. Whereas what's happening on the sheet six is it's just adding a new subcategory in every time. So last works for when you're using just uh, dimensional filters. Whereas if you want to be able to use an average, but still have the last X number of orders or the last X sales, you definitely should use the top, um, top N version. So once again, if I go back to sheet and if I add, if I edit my filter, you want to make sure uh, on general it's use all, top, and then you can either to top or bottom depending on your use case. Your parameter, you can create a new value, enter a value or create a new parameter. And then you can either choose order ID or any other of those um, features in there. And then it's either a maximum or minimum depending. This can be used on order, order date as well, which is um, quite cool. So. Yeah, I just thought I'd share that tip with you today and good luck. Thank you. Stay safe and I'll see you all soon.